hi all so <clears throat> in this tutorial we'll see what are the steps we need to follow to create proxy based uh, client service using access to implementation okay so let's get started i have listed out the steps that we need to follow so let's start let's follow those steps so first step is to create the java project or dynamic web project we can create either java project or dynamic web project so let me create one dynamic web project so for that let me go to file dynamic web project let me give name as is two say hello service client okay client client of this service so this client will consume the services that is offered by the application say hello service okay so that i have built in the previous tutorial that's uh, bottom up access to say hello service so we'll consume this with the help of this client okay so i have given the project name then choose the module as 2.5 and then yeah, that's it finish it So hello service client we have built one dynamic project now the next step is to copy physical visual file into client project or can be used visual URL so either we can use visual file or the visual URL if the service is up and running so while adding this visual file or the visual URL the service should be up and running okay so let me add that so first we have to get the wisdom so for that i will execute this say hello service i will run down run this service and then I will write like services so these are mentioned in the URL pattern in the web.xml file and then say hello question mark digital question mark wisdom so yeah so this came so let's copy this wisdom file i mean wisdom url so now we have the wisdom url we have to Okay, so I got the visual URL, so that will be fine. So now generate the stops or proxies. That uh, visual URL will be needed while generating the stops or proxies. So how we can do that? Let's generate that. I already copied this visual URL, so now let's create the stops. The stops will always be created on the source based on this visual file so for that let's file click on source then file then other and then web services and then the web services client next in the service definition put one service definition i already have the visual so I'll already given that visual file okay 
and then correct the all the relevant information like server implementation so apache access to implementation will be using so that i am selecting it and this is the client project name say hello service client and now finish it okay so this will create the stop this will generate the stop in our source folder and that stop will actually help us to retrieve the methods from the service end so now let's uh, refresh this refresh this project now you see source here you can see the stuff say hello stuff.java okay so this stuff name is coming from the binding you can see the service name so this service name a stub so this service name is actually coming as the stub with the suffix as stub okay so now next step is let's check what is the next step and also the package this package name is coming with the target name space if you see based the visitor for the target name space is as visitor dot access to dot the reverse it and it is taking at org dot access to dot services so it is completely based on the target name space this is the complete project name package name so next that is done we have generated the stops now we need to create a java class with main method and we'll call generated stops we'll use to call the method that is there in the web service end okay so let me do that so create one it is called class so i will say it say hello client okay we need main method so put main and then click on finish okay so next is to call the with the stub to call the hello method that is there in the service end so let's check the stub first so what are the things are there in the stub so if you see the stub so hello hello is the method that is there in our service end so hello is kind of class here so we need to call this hello method only right that is there in the this hello method okay so how we can do that so if you also so so okay so there is go to hello so if you see here there is should be should be, should be some uh, set name right so we will be using this method to provide the input as a string input okay so we have to how we can do that so first thing we need to create the stub object so stub is say hello so hello stub let's give the name as stub equal to sorry guys my machine got hanged please be here with me yeah it came so now new say hello stop say hello stop 
okay no parameter so the our target is so this is throwing one exception unhandled exception so let's throw one exception here in the main throws exception sorry for exception our our focus is to call set this parameter right first provide the input all right set this time how we can call this uh, method so this method is actually there in the hello class right so we need the object of this so how we can do that and hello is present in a stuff a stuff class so for that what we have to do is we have to call this method like hello class dot so this hello is present in this hello is present in say hello class so let's create one object let's give some input okay let's give that name as inputs equal to new this thing say hello stub dot hello so this is done so now we already make an object of hello class right so hello inputs so now we can call this method so how we can do that so inputs dot set name set name right so just give one name anything i'm giving ras okay so we have provided the input okay now we need the response to get the response there is one method is there that is called add response see hello response sorry so this hello response actually provide the result okay so let's create an object of this hello response so for that how we can do that so let's copy this put the name as hello response equal to let's output okay so control c so add response let's check add response so this add response is holding some of the method like so 
you see that say hello just see the stock here you will see hello this is the method we need to call right to get the response so this will take this will return the hello response object right this method and it will take the argument of hello object hello object so what we have to do is this is present in the stub class right so we need to call we need to remove this so here we need to call a stub dot what is the method name hello okay and then hello world uh, hello object that is inputs so provide the inputs here okay so this is done now get the result and put it that so to get the result back into a string we have to put like this so this will string result equal to string result equal to output output dot get return okay so now we got the string so just put system dot odd dot print ln and then just put the result this just print out this okay. okay so just save it and deploy the server and test this run this application so how to deploy that our service is x is to say hello service so this is the service so let's deploy this so by for deployment you need to call server run this uh, service and this just check that service is up or running yes it is showing up the proper visitor so the service is up and running so now the next step is to call this hello client a standalone application so save it and just right click on this right click on this uh, java file and run as run as a java application let's see what it's showing us so if you see hi raj welcome to soap web service so this message is coming from where it is coming from so actually this message is coming from this service we have written here that message so see we are returning this message so this is how we are getting in the console or if it is the console okay So this is the message that is coming from the this service so this service is calling by this client another application and we are getting the result of this method the return of service of this method as a plain string yeah thanks thanks for watching yeah thank you all